Hi guys, Mr. Pollock Biology here with question 4 from June 2014's Unit 4 Biology paper, um, Populations and Environment. This is a, uh, a sex-linked characteristics question along with a nice little bit of genetic crosses, along with a bit of Heidi Weinberg. And it's a really uh, quite a cruel question in a way because it uses birds um, whose sex chromosomes are exactly the opposite of ours. So males have two X chromosomes, whereas females have an X and a Y. The examiner has done this tru truly, honestly, purely to try and catch out students who aren't paying attention, who lapse into um, uh, human sex chromosomes instead. So stay focused and we'll, uh, we'll get through this together. So question 4a says, use this information to explain why recessive sex-linked characteristics are more common in female birds than in male birds. Um, and basically it's a case of saying, well, if it's on the X chromosome, then if you're a female, the allele will always, always, always be expressed. Whereas males, they need to be homozygous recessive um, to express the characteristic. So the most succinct way that you can say this is that in females, females always express the recessive allele. So females will always express the recessive allele. Oops, recessive allele. Okay, nice and straightforward. Um, to begin with, basically testing your understanding of recessive conditions um, and applying it to the sex linkage thing. So the second question talks about chickens, and we've got a uh, uh, we've got a uh, what you call it here um, a family tree. I can't remember this off the top of my head. It's a Saturday, and I cannot remember for the life of me what the special name for these is. Um, in chickens, a gene on the X chromosome controls the rate of feather production. Um, I misread this question when I first did this, so um, I'm going to highlight the key bits to make sure I don't mess up again. The allele for slow feather production, capital F, is dominant to the allele for rapid feather production, okay, which is lowercase f. Figure 3 shows the results produced from crosses carried out by a farmer. So males are squares, as always. Females are circles, as always. Um, and if they are rapid feather producers, they're going to be shaded. If they are slow, they're going to be just white. We've got a nice handy reminder about the uh, the sex chromosomes here. So let's have a little look-see. Uh, explain one piece of evidence from figure three uh, that shows that recessive, the allele for rapid feather production is recessive. Uh, the one that f screams out to me is, hey look, here are um, two slow feather producers who have rapid feather producing children in individuals three and four. Um, and that is the easiest one um, to go for. So we can say that one and two, what are they? Are they slow? They are slow, slow feather producers. Um, three and five are fast. And we can say that four is slow. So because they produce a mixture of offspring, that means these guys must have one recessive allele each. I'm going to rephrase that and say they must be heterozygous. Better way of saying it. So they must be heterozygous to get that combination of offspring. And that's pretty much it. So moving on, give all the possible genotypes of the following chickens from figure three. Chicken five first. Let's have a look at chicken five. So I'm going to get rid of these bits. Chicken five, uh, female, okay. So she is going to have an X and a Y. Remember, it's the opposite of humans. Um, and she is a rapid feather producer. Now, rapid feather producers is the recessive allele. So she is going to be that. So let's copy that and take it down here. That's the only possible combination of, uh, the only possible genotype she could possibly be. Uh, let's have a little look at uh, chicken seven and go back up. Uh, so he is a, oops, he is a male. So he's gonna be uh, XX. 
Um, and he is a slow feather producer. So let's have a look. Slow feather producer is capital F. Um, so he can be either, he can either have homozygous dominant or he could also be heterozygous. There we go. So those are our possible genotypes for our, um, our male chicken here. Fantastic. So let's have a look at uh, 4B part 3. A cross between two chickens produced four offspring. Two of these were males with rapid feather production and two were females with slow feather production. So the two males with rapid feather production, they're going to be um, X, X, and then if they were if they were rapid feather production, uh, rapid feather production, they're going to be um, this homozygous recessive. Um, and if the the females the females had slow feather production, so they're going to be this combination. So basically, we need to rearrange um, these offspring to get the parents. So let's have a look. See, so we've got to have one female parent and we've got to have one male parent um, both parents uh, let's have a little look see at this uh, parents will obviously have to have from the X uh, from the X chromosome we'll have to have one capital F and one lowercase f um, and then looking at this offspring here from the female it's going to have to be recessive there we go. So just it's just a case of rearranging effectively the gametes um, from from those uh, the offspring and then rejigging them to the parents. It's not too tricky. Treat it more like a logic puzzle than a biology question. Uh, last one is a Hardy Weinberg one. Uh, feather color in one species of chicken is controlled by a pair of co-dominant genes which are not sex linked. The allele C B codes for black feathers and the allele C W codes for white feathers. Heterozygous chickens are blue feathered. Ooh, how pretty. Um, on a farm, 4% of the chickens were black feathered. Use the Hardy Weinberg equation to calculate the percentage of this population that you'd expect to be blue feathered, show you're working. So it's asking us to work out heterozygous. So uh, we can say that that 4%, 0 0.04, uh, is, let's have a little look, see is p squared. We can root that, root that, root 0 0.4, 0 0.04 equals p, which equals 0 0.2. Uh, we know that p plus q equals 1, therefore, whoops, um, 1 minus 0 0.2 equals q which equals 0.8, nice, um, and then 2pq, uh, 2pq is what we're looking for, which is our heterozygous, equals 2 times 0.8 times 0.2, which should equal 0.32, so that's 32%, and that's quite a nice Hardy-Weinberg question there. Um, if you want to write down, you know, p squared plus 2pq plus q squared equals 1 and p plus q equals 1 somewhere, um, that'll help you out all the way through. Um, but not a bad question all in all. Let's give ourselves 9 out of 9. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for question 5.